Today's show is sponsored by ExpressVPN. You working from home? Protect your sensitive data with an extra layer of security at expressvpn.com slash funhouse. Jacob, how are you? Patrick, hello, I'm well. I'm here, I'm I'm, I'm ready for woo-woo. We are woo-woo-woo-woo. We have some very important woos to get to today. Uh, serious business. Serious business this is gonna, in woo-woo town. This is gonna be a no laughs woo-woo. Yeah, we have to make a new acronym though. Watch us. Mope. Wom, 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 wom. New intro, here we go. We got some GTA Kyle Perico heists. Have mm, you watched any of yeah. those? Oh boy, it's a ride. I, I, I have ch- played GTA a smidge. Like every so often, I'll be in a GTA gameplay. But I haven't done like a heist in a million years, so watching y'all do it has been... Uh, I don't know what's going on, but it looks stressful. It is. It's a lot of work. <laughs> oh no! Come on, oh, come on, no! come on! <laughs> Oh! <laughs> First one from Whitey4000 said, Rockstar, all the heist preps can be done in 45 minutes. Funhouse, best I can do is two months. <laughs> yeah. That's accurate. Oh, there's also the prep work was a little like, we kept not doing the prep work and then being like, oh, we need to actually do this. So we would think we, were, mm. we would start an episode thinking we were going to get to the heist. And this happened like three times. And then we were like, oh, actually, we have like all these other missions we have to do first. <laughs> Yeah, you also got uh, John and James being wacky on each other. Oh my God! Yeah, yeah, you got to wrangle them, Patrick. You're the you're the wrangler. You and I you and Lindsay. I'm not a wrangler though, you know. I, you gotta get that lasso. It's usually very funny, but then a hundred percent. There's a point where I'm like, stop fucking running me over. <laughs> Up next, from Alfredo Pasta. Patrick in this reminds me of that new kid who gets invited to hang out with the cool established group, is hesitant, but still goes, then immediately is awkwardly <laughs> left behind and doesn't know where anyone is or where to go. That's pretty accurate, <laughs> yeah. Go I haven't played GTA in so long that it's like, I'm not, I can't find my way around there anymore. Anime dumpster fire, they're gonna get their ass blasted on the actual heist. Well, <laughs> let me tell ya. <laughs> oh, at, has it already happened? I'm editing the last part right now, and there was definitely some, Wait a minute! Some third you degree mean this ass is, blasting happening. Is this a? I, I don't even know if this is coming out before <laughs> the, the heist or not, but it might be a fun house. Uh, this might be a woo woo exclusive. Kevin Parmar, this is easily the best content on the channel right now. I'm invested. Lindsay is trying so hard to make this work. Elmo, I don't know about the best content. I think there's a lot of good content on there, but uh, yeah, All it is. It, you know, it is. I feel frustrated for Lindsay because. She so badly just wants to get through it. You have me, who just doesn't really remember how to play the game. John and James are just trying to crash helicopters into people. Hey, it sounds to me that you got all the pieces of the puzzle. We right do. Right there for some, quote, the best content on the channel right now, quote, end quote. Uh, last one on GTA. This is like if the wet bandits from Home Alone had funding. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it makes sense to me. That's imagine, pretty spot on, yeah. Yeah, imagine what the wet bandits could get away from if they had like a, was it like a Megalodon shark card oh, yeah, to their yeah, name. Yeah. They just bust through Kevin McCall- McAllister's door in like a Combat armored, vehicle. yeah, in an yeah. armored tank with spinners. But then they still fuck it up. Yeah, and then it's on a bunch you. of marbles and it explodes. Right. All right, let's talk about something that, Jacob, that you, you were in. <gasps> Fight crap. Ooh. Hyper mode, activate. I'm being pinned, Hi-ya! I'm being pinned. Take this, Charlotte. <laughs> Fight crab. Yes, this was a delightful video. Here's one that I feel like is sort of directed at you. It's an attack on you, maybe. When everyone else is talking Star Wars, Lindsay ignores them. Yeah. You probably are used it, to that, though. I feel like the Wookiees and the droids are on, are attacking me. I was thinking the very same. <laughs> I know you were, Patrick, and if yep. Lindsay was here, she wouldn't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. I have no clue what we're talking about. <laughs> but no, uh, Lindsay's reaction there I'd say is an appropriate one. A lot of useless information. I think she's better off just closing those doors. I could go on for days about Oh, I know. Size noodles. But we don't got time for that. And also we don't have um I don't have a, a captive audience like Lindsay right, at the yeah. moment. Oh that was from New Queer Warhead Warhead, by the way. Mickey 90 Mar, is this a sequel to Big Motherfucking Crab Truckers? It takes place in the same universe, but it is different yeah. characters. Oh yeah, yeah. I- exactly. Like that. This was all fight crabs. This did not feature Fartimus Crustworth 
The no. third, who is a my my personal favorite crab yep. in the crab universe, cinematic universe, oh, the, the cuckoo. That's what they call cuckoo. it. Cuckoo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There but, there should be a sequel to Big Motherfucking Crab Chuckers because that was there will be so fun. There will be. Everybody should go watch that old video. Boneyard says Jacob with no mercy for Charlotte, a true crab lord. Uh, there's no such thing as a benevolent crab lord. Only one with an iron claw that clamps down on those those beneath and those who oppose. No mercy from the crab lord. Crabs are very brutal creatures. Yeah. Paro Dime plays, Par Zero Dime, something like that plays, says Jacob is number one in the crab fight fighting esports league after this video. Have you gotten any mm. uh, like recruitment letters? From- A couple. It's like I, I, I've I've been on the circuit. Yeah. It's much more lucrative than I would have thought. The problem is none of them are video games. It's all real crabs. Oh yeah, and they're much smaller than you, so it's probably fairly easy. Uh, this is a good one. Ironic Muse says, I was on cold medicine when I watched this, and I didn't think it was real until I rewatched it. <laughs> Such a high, high compliment. It was like experiencing a dream. Yeah. Oh, hey, this comment is talking about the cuckoo. Finally, the crustacean cinematic universe, the cuckoo, between Inside mm-hmm. Gaming and Funhouse has come to fruition. Well, uh, it's pretty easy to pull off since Inside Gaming is now just Funhouse. We're going to turn it into Crab House slowly. <laughs> we keep that in this woo everybody. Don't yeah, tell don't, anybody else. Don't tell, especially like James and Elise, don't. This episode is brought to you by Honey. We all shop online. For some of us, it's the only way we shop. And the thing that kills me is there's that little promo code whenever you're gonna go and check out. And every single time I go, boy, wouldn't it be great if I had a really good cost-saving promo code. Thanks to Honey, I don't have to manually search for those coupon codes ever again. Honey is a free browser extension that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to my cart instantly. Imagine you're shopping on one of your favorite sites. When you go to check out, the Honey button just drops down and all you have to do is click apply coupons. Boom, you wait a few seconds, Honey searches for coupons that it can find for that site and once it finds the best working coupon, it applies it to your cart instantly. I was recently buying some stuff to kind of upgrade my desk situation. I wasn't sure how I would find a coupon code that applied to something so specific, but when I used Honey, I clicked the button Boom, I save 10%, which is not nothing. That's actually a lot of money and it adds up. So I was super appreciative to be able to save that extra cash. So even though you can't see it, just trust that my desk is much nicer for having used Honey. Also, Honey has found it's over 17 million members, over $2 billion in savings. I feel like I've been doing this ad read for a while and that number just keeps going up. If you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out on free savings. It's literally free and installs in just a few seconds. And by getting it, you'd be doing yourself a solid and supporting this show. So get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash open house. That's joinhoney.com slash open house. Regular Human Basketball, very funny video. Go check that out. Comment from Scott. The green team did pretty well considering they had a minus one player handicap with Ryan. Oh, <laughs> my God. Ryan, no, Ryan. Oh, God. God. All right. What? Ryan oh, just no. got killed. <laughs> Am I, is that it for me? Just a side note here. We yeah. had to get paid so much to actually, Patrick and I, for to appear together in a video oh, and yeah. not be at each other's throats yeah. after regular human basketball. Because I know I'm a red team. Hardcore red team. Die hard green right here, yeah. We had to go to therapy together. I can barely stomach, yeah, it was like couples counseling. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, you guys had Ryan though. Well, we didn't have Ryan. Either he was outside of the robot the entire time yelling, I'm helping, or he was in the wrong <laughs> Discord talking to you and then he'd, <laughs> he'd come back and say, no, I was doing reconnaissance or something. Yeah, when the final uh, parts of that video come out, people will understand the full breadth of having Ryan Holy shit. either as an, an asset or a hindrance on the green team. Sounded like a, like a, a different different problems, different yeah. kinds of problems, whether Ryan's there or not. Oh, I get it, real. So this is not human basketball. This is not real human basketball. That's why they called it that. Uh, yeah. Rhubarb Cube says Uncle James and Aunt Elise need to make sure Jacob is okay after his parents' big fight. The round you guys beat us in, the second round, Charlotte and Omar were uh, fighting about buttons. Yeah, and I was just like trying to, I was, I, I, I hesitate to call myself the glue, but I, no, think, I think I was the glue. Yeah, I think yeah. you were too. Charlotte, <laughs> quit doing my job. What? I see you bouncing around with my stuff. Stop, stop touching my buttons. I'm Get, not touching any of your magnet, shit. Magnet, Magnet, you're in the oh, wrong place. Oh, I, I did, I went the wrong way. I went the wrong Reverse. way with the magnet. 
The next comment by Jonna Arnett is Omar yelling about the buttons is killing me. <laughs> Omar was very possessive about his buttons and yes. Charlotte wanted to just like do a little bit of micromanaging here and there. Keep that well-oiled basketball machine running. Yeah, Omar just wanted to do his job. Just wanted to take care it. of business. I and get that's it. what uh, that's what causes us to fall apart in the second round. But hey, I think we came back. Oh my god. There goes oh a banana. God. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I got an apple though. God, that oh, was such more a mistake to walk past him. Use it to stop. I trusted you. I trusted you. <laughs> apple. Hey, let's move on to Hitman 3. What's your body count? Chilled Chaos. Ooh, course. that's the first one. Foggy Narcoleptic says, Happy that Monday collabs are becoming a thing. I said it wrong yep. again, but you get yeah, the idea. But you kept it's going. fine. You, you understand what I'm going for there. And that kind of goes into the second one there. Chilled is the wheel man for all Hitman 3 levels, please. I mean, that's what the whole series is. It's chilled chaos driving Hitman 3, and it's been great. He's got that perfect approach where it's just like you sneak around for a little bit, everything goes wrong, and you beat the level by shooting everyone <laughs> by in the head going and running out. crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tim T here says Hitman's body count, seven armed guards, three janitors, two old billionaires. It's not what you think. It's because Hitman has been a busy boy and it's he's not because he's hitting, he's hitting men yeah. in the ass. <laughs> how long do you think it'll take him to hit the ground? And then how long do you think it'll take for someone to call the police and say, hey, a guard from that building just hit the ground? I like this here. Numero Bruno. It's a fitting name for the comments. At 1121, James asks, how long do you think it will take him to hit the ground? The body would hit the ground after 10 seconds. Let's calculate this using this kinematics equation. X equals VT plus one half AT squared, where X is the distance traveled, V is the initial velocity, A is the acceleration of gravity, and T is the time. The observation of the Burj Khalifa is at a height of 555.7 meters. The body is not moving initially, and the gravity has an acceleration of 9.81 miles per second squared. Rearranging the kinematics equation to solve for time leaves us with T equals I think that's square root of <laughs> 2x <laughs> divided by a equals the square root of 2 times 555.7 meters divided by 9.81 miles per second squared or meters per second squared. I, I think it's know. meters per second. Meters it's miles per second. Per second. Square, yeah, you hit the ground real fast. Yeah, oh shit, yeah. <laughs> meters per second squared equals 10.6 seconds. Wow, I learned a lot there, Patrick. Miles per second. Ah! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it destroys the earth. Yoda the Hobbit, I think we played GTA. Hey. I think we played GTA with them. Says next time I'm in a museum, I'm going to drop a banana right in front of the security guard and see if I get the same response. Probably. <laughs> I mean they would can't recommend. They'd yeah. look at you. I don't know if they'd look at the banana. Uh, they probably just get mad at you for littering. I'm gonna go check that out. Well, I guess maybe if they didn't <laughs> see. I don't know how much time though, because in Hitman they spend quite a while investigating the banana. I don't know how yeah. long an actual security guard would spend on it. I mean, it might just be part of the job. Like I've never been a security guard. Right. There might be protocol when faced with such an obstacle as a banana discarded by a negligent patron. We got some fan art from Clive Tolney. Oh, this boy. is on Reddit. Oh, Clive Tolney is all about those movie posters and stuff. Oh, cool. And album cool. covers and yeah, whatnot. Yeah, that's what this is. So it's a it's the Who, <laughs> and it says it's hard. The house. The house. And it's me, Omar, <laughs> Ryan, and James, who looks like he looks like the T2 Terminator in this. He looks like oh, Robert he, Patrick. He sort of does. Yeah. Yeah. He's got that neck. I'd like to think that that's bones in the middle. Turn around. Just yeah. Just so he's there. You know. I'd, let's say canonically, it's bones. Next one, furred draws. You get a bunch of really like nice like angles and stuff. Up next, the Fuku. Funhouse Cinematic Universe. Yeah, don't mess it up with the Cuckoo. This is the Fuku. Yes, very different. Funhouse Universe Cinematic Universe. Very different thing. Yeah, who we got here in this one? So I think that's it's so it's Dan, Jessica, Vasami, Don, you. Oh yeah, I'm Groot. And Bones. Don looks awesome. I know. You can well you can tell him by the hair right away, you know. And this is by Clive Tolney again. This is from Fetishized Stupidity <laughs> on Reddit. <laughs> Imagining a daytime kids TV program with our favorite channel. They got the little old Aww. school kind of Nickelodeon looking logo. Yeah, if we, we really want to make this money, I think we go that direction. A show for all ages. Oh, here's one of my favorites. This is one of my favorite fan arts of all time. This is from Relligan. In honor of St. Patrick's Day, here's fan art of Patrick. <laughs> Incredible. So it's, That's amazing. It's me as the Pope. Oh, no. <laughs> Two Finger Jacob, they call him. That's from Amp you 93. Betcha. It looks like you you actually have a stub there. I'm trying to remember what this is from. I don't sure. know why I chose those two fingers because those aren't the know, easiest to hold weird... up right out the gate. I can't even do it. It's it's like I was trying to make like a shadow dog or something. 
<laughs> Here's an old. This is great. Oldie, yeah. Hey, Funhouse team. I've yeah. made this little homage to John Smith's character, Mr. Riddles. This is from Gus Sleep, by the way. Mr. Riddles from the One True Gamer video. It seemed like a fun concept to do, so I hope you guys like it. I only played one One True Gamer, and it was chaotic. <laughs> That's what you get from Mr. Riddles and those big old teeth. It's really cool. They should make it just completely crash out of nowhere for authenticity, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, make make a what's it called? Oh, par was it parsec? Yeah, make yeah. parsec like crash my computer or whatever. Anyway, I am Brandon TV says it's so crazy when people tell me that they found me from a Rooster Teeth slash Funhouse video. Being a kid who watched those YouTube videos coming up, it's crazy to know that I'm in them. That's cool. We we did a Elise and I did a scary game with Brandon. I don't remember what it was Ooh. called. <laughs> yeah, it, that happened a lot. But all I remember is like Brandon and I being really scared and yelling the name Jimmy a lot. When I was a little younger, I watched like Inside Gaming and stuff and Rooster Teeth and whatnot. And now I'm here telling everybody how old they are. You've climbed to the top of the mountain. And, and I scoff at all the elderly people I That's work right. with. That's right. Someone called Achievement Hunt, uh, hmm. Achievement Hunter, okay. says, Funhouse team, Psst, they don't know I'm tweeting at you. Dwight is saying to Jim, who's fun, Jim is Funhouse, and Dwight is Achievement Hunter, post team. Of course, post of course. Team, post saying, team. do you want to form an alliance with me? Is this like a, is this a reference to the Rust stuff? I think, think? so. I think because, it's about Rust. Because uh, the post team who have who are in Rust a whole bunch when we were yeah. playing it, making all this cool stuff and always like helping us out with things. Mm -hmm. I think we are, I think we are on the on the verge of joining forces because we realized how capable we all were. And then finally, we're gonna get back to the Who. Another the Who post from Willie Simo on Reddit says a young Roger Daltrey looks spookily like James. I think yeah, does. we we should find out. It does. Um, I don't remember who's actually who on that uh, who on that album cover that uh, Clive Tolney did, but mm -hmm. what if if it's oh, both Roger Daltrey? Wow. Mm -hmm. Somebody get on that and if that's the case, if those match up, then we might have to start an investigation. It looks like it's this guy's Windows background. I think so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just their wallpaper. Yeah. You think they like they uh, paused a funhouse video? Just like I want to pause this video. I gotta go to the bathroom. Hang oh, I gotta minimize it real quick. Check out my desktop, and it was like James's face is right there in the video. It's like, like Ooh! I think that about wraps it up. Well, shucks, Patrick. It was lovely chatting with you. You too, Jacob. And right after this, we're gonna go right back to having a hate-filled rivalry yes. over regular human basketball because we are professionals and we can put aside our differences. Uh, for the show. I'll see you on the court. I'll see you on the fucking court, Jacob. I'll see you in court after I after the assault. And I, I tip my woo to you, though. Uh, professional. Oh, yes, of yeah. course. I tip my... Where is the woo? Where do I tip it? But I'm going to tip uh, it. I went for hat, but you could do it where... Maybe it's the face is your woo. Okay. You kind of just remove it. Woo! I did it at my neck. Careful when you woo. It, it, it can't have <laughs> negative side effects on the balloons. <laughs>